Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video, it's kind of a day of last you could say It's the last bit of square bale of the year, unless something comes out of the blue Anyways, so I spent all morning moving around trailers and whatnot, getting ready to cut Father Phil is cutting away, I went back to the yard upon a muffler for a bro when he gets home to go turning and I have the square bale around now to go make the last square bales of the year and um, yeah, so a bit onto the field, have the drone but anyways, time to bait onto the field so we are just up here now, turn on this I uh, need to pressure on that and Father Phil, he's nearly finished this field he has three of the fulls of the tank because both trailers hold the two fulls of the combine so he's the red rock full the blue trailer is one one tank in it and then we have we borrowed the red bra and is above on the 7618 so between the three trailers that should nearly take all the grain on this uh, when bro gets up here he's going to bring back is there a way on that yeah there's a way on that sometimes that little yoke in there slips just pull back the ejectors now so when bro gets up here with the woofler, he'll probably go home with the 6219 the trail load of grain. And then that means we're definitely safe because there shouldn't be any more than the two trail than three trailers and that. So just check the straw. So we started cutting here last night, got a nice little bit done last night, two rounds of the field. So it's all fresh. And that is all pretty good. Not too bad now. We'll get started anyways. And we'll get bailed. We'll see how much Father Phil wants to square bail. Don't think he wants it all square bail. We we'll have a customer up this this part of the country for bait for squares. So I'm just gonna get the drone on straight away while the combine is gonna be working in the field with me. And um yeah, we'll go get some big square bales, the last ones of the year made. <laughs> Everything that was here 
and the plan has kind of changed. We get this bit of mailing done. So, flying along here in the baler, doing anywhere from nine and a half, ten, but you can feel every plunge. Plunge, you feel forward. Plunge, you go forward. Plunge, you go forward. We're actually flying it on here. Not the heaviest crop of spring oats. And what I mean by that is not a heavy crop of straw. Uh, the, the yield's brilliant. If I get a chance when I finish this field, or I get to the other edge, just uh, I'll show you the crop that we're cutting. This is the field I sold with the umbilical system or the big the six inch wide field from the cord drill. It was the last field. It's not the big field by the main road. This is the last field I done with it, but it's yielding grain yield very good. Straw yield not too hectic now because it's quite a short crop. I will show you that later. But um, yeah, that's what we're harvesting spring oats at the minute. And. We are down to, and this block of ground is covered. Two bits left to cut, not including the beans. We have one bit of spring barley to cut, and we have that field of spring oats that I sowed first with the uh, umbilical tied with all the stones in it. And then that's it. That's it then. We'll have the harvest done, just harvest the beans. We're rough on the headland, but um, no. Along here. Father Phil is just about to move into the last field of oats. So this is the crop we have. It's a little bit straw broken on itself after the wet weekend. It's not too bad. It hasn't laid down. It's just kind of straw broken. That's what we call straw broken, where the plant kind of breaks about halfway down and then just falls over on top of itself. Still very easy combined, but it it is. Um, can be a little bit hard to get drier but you can see yourself there lovely lovely crop of oats very short oats is generally a very high crop and as you can see they are snee high hence we're not having a lot of straw for not too bothered great big bales of straw I might actually just roll this one out of his way if I'm able so yeah could be waiting them bales but um yeah that's the oats Lovely crop. Oats has done very well this year. And um, so why do we grow oats? We grow it to feed the cattle and to sell. So in, uh, all the tillage that, or all the corn grain that we grow, we keep a certain amount of it to feed our own cattle and then we sell the rest, which helps pay to grow all the corn. There it is. That bale was heavy. What have we done? 23 bales. Yeah, there'll be, there be tight 50 bales on it all. Some of it is sold, so we're only going to have the one load of straw off this, which is grand. It'll just top out the shed at home nicely. And then we have extra straw above in the grain shed on the other farm, so that just leaves us that little bit extra to save. Make sure we have enough grain or straw for the year. But, anyways, where we go again? Off that to get in front of the I have to move the, the broth now too when he, he gets into the next field a bit. Just leave it out so it doesn't have to come back out here. And bro is turning straw where we were cutting before the rain over the weekend. Uh, we didn't get straw bale there, uh, spring barley. So he's turning that. We'll get that dry and that'll be round bale. So ever there what's left to be bailed will be round bailed after this. So all systems are gone. But we are coming near the end of the harvest. In the 7618. So I just have the field in front of the, beside the house done. So I'm literally right up, up with Father Phil now, literally, I think he's three rounds of the field done. So just go and move on the Brahan out to the field from, so he doesn't have to drive back out here. There is, as you can see there through it, 
it's about half full there now so it's quite good now it's just not bad at all now um we could get a little bit tight now to get it all in the trailers so i'm just kind of thinking now um yeah hopefully we can get it well it's great to see it not fit in all the trailers but at the same time <laughs> makes it a little bit handier if it did fit in all the trailers 51 square bales so far too so yeah, I suppose yeah that, that field out there yielded quite a, quite a lot better than this one here did with straw yield anyways but yeah square bale and now while he's on ups and downs I don't have the luxury of picking where I let out the bale which means I could leave bales in the way so might let him do a little bit more before I start but Last year, they went to pull the whole arse over. Yep. So, it's after doing that again. Off. Oh, That's the same side, isn't it? Yeah. We're not caught anymore. Fuck. Lovely. So, the bad news is that his, that girl finished. Her harvest season two. So not only is the big square bale are finished for the year, but so is the big combine. And the reason is this. Who can remember that? A 44 minute video of taking out the belly of the beast to put this in. And it broke. And what may be interesting now I can't hold in point, but if you look, it didn't fail on the wells. That has failed on the new plate that was put in. The wells haven't failed, but the new plate that we put in has failed. So that steel wasn't up to the job that we used. Yeah, and not only has that come out, but it's bust across auger in the bottom of the combine. Hence, we have this now. So the job it is to take it all out to repair this again, we're not thinking of actually repairing it. We're just kind of, Father Phil's actually ringing another contractor that has two combine stuff where I square bailed or hire those two combines to see will they finish the harvest for us with about 35 acres more to do but um, I think we're going to look again a new a whole new unit put into the arse of the combine because re-welding this or putting in a different plate no guarantee it's going to stay especially if it's only after going again so it's annoying what can you do so I'm going to go get the big square baler. Bail up what's left here and what's left to be cut there when it gets caught we'll round bail that but yeah. That's it for another year. Just after busting my second shear bolt there now and um, that's not usually a good sign the dew is down. My moisture isn't telling me it's over bad but yeah. I think I'm just going to quit at that. What's left there will have to be picked up. Not a great end to the day, but what can you do? So I'm going to try and get my baler emptied out because she's finished now. Oh yeah, joys of the job. Just one of them days. Oh. That's it. George is just after arriving with uh, his 7718S and the trailer to bring home the square bales. It's got 56 mids, so 
take 12 out of that for one man and the rest will all fill up in the trailer one load home we'll round build the rest of this probably get someone out this way to buy them and enough hopefully and um, yeah it got cleared out juice the dew was falling that's kind of what bet me there this 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 baler just doesn't like it when it starts to get a wee bit on the damn side um, so yeah so I have it cleared out there, not too bad. So the plan now is bring it home. We'll go ferry all the grain home, but then later on, I'll blow down the com or blow down the baler. Give it a linseed oil, rub it on the insides of the baler, where I think I had me issue at the start of the year. Uh, the linseed oil should leave it right. Park her away for the winter then. I don't think I'll wash it. That white dust is just dust from, we had it parked in the shed where we were rolling. But I don't think washing it now and then putting it in the shed is only going to leave moisture on it and maybe not dry that well. So I think it's better off be dusty and dry than um, clean and damp. So yeah. Yeah, we're just here with Father Phil just about to head Bayhon back. Poor old combine. Well, it's your luck. It's, it must have been a bad bit of steel. I wouldn't say it's a bad bit of steel, it's just it wasn't fit for what it was doing. Yeah. It needed to be put in probably in a bigger piece. Um, that's just it's, it's just one of them things, you just it's don't know. You don't know. You don't know. It wasn't the weld that went. I always thought the weld yeah, would break. It wasn't the weld. That's, that's what I couldn't get break. over. It didn't break where the weld was. That's why I couldn't get over. It wasn't so the weld. It, it was a completely maybe, different spot. I, I don't know. I don't know. And that was no, a heavier bit of steel than what was in it too. Oh, way heavier, but there's a saying for all this. Oh. Shit happens. Shit happens. <laughs> Cock a doodle do. You may edit that bit out. No, shit but, happens. Um, yeah, look, it is what it is. It could have had, went at the start of the season. Yeah. We're lucky enough. I mean, I'd come to us, he'd finish up the few bits. Yeah. We haven't that much to cut. About 35 there. acres. Not even, oh, not at all. Well, it's five, the bit here, the beans, and oh, Bally Clare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the beans, about 35 acres. Yeah. No, yeah, it's yeah. enough. Yeah, it's enough, yeah. It's enough. Well, your man, he uses his few, few beans to cut. I do, do jobs for him and he'll do jobs for me and it'll work out grand. Yeah. Um, and George's little bit has to be cut as well, so. Yeah, but. Uh, it was a huge yield. Was yeah, huge. no, it, it, it done fantastic. Not much, no. not much straw, but not bothered about straw. Straw is a bad old sell this year. Yeah. But uh, a huge yield. But sure, that load of straw George brings back for sale, that'll fill out the shed, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know, it will be sound. But more than enough. Um, yeah, look at the heat. That happens. Look at We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Watch this space, you wouldn't know what had run up. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. That's to heal the hunt, so we will That's machinery for you. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. machinery. It doesn't break in the shed. It's not the it same. It never did. <laughs> it never did. It it just, it's not the simplest thing and it's not a thing that we can just take in now and, and do start into it tomorrow morning, take that out to repair it, well, to do a job good enough not to have to ever well, do it. Well it's again. it's it's we have the window of opportunity to finish the harvest now. To do that, you're working two, three, maybe four days, depending. Uh, well, it's a four hour job to take it out, it's a 12 hour job to put it back and to scratch your head and look at it and see how you can do it better than what we've already done. And uh, then, it, yeah, it's just yeah. not worth it's not worth it tackling may, it now. We're better a, off get the harvest done. Well, finish the harvest. Finish the harvest. Finish the harvest. Are you in a lad? No problem. We can, we can, we can think about that. it after that. He's ringing me later on to let me know what his plan is. Yeah. He has a lot of beans to cut for himself. He was to cut them Friday. Um, just that may be a complete replacement piece we'll put in. It might be the easiest way over. No, I, I don't think. Know. We yeah. just have to research it. And whether a bit can be got, I don't know. We may have to um, contact John Manners where we got the unloading logger. Maybe he may have something that we can put into it. Yeah. It's something that we're going to fix next spring. Yeah, so it's not. Early summer. <laughs> two, two days before we start next year's harvest. No, you watch the space. <laughs> I have something in the pipeline. Anyways. Something nice in the pipeline. Yeah. So anyways, we will be it on. I think that is really it for today's video. I don't think there's much else. It's probably a bit of dampener, damper on the, the harvest now but um, look it is what it is, you just can't have it every way can you? So we get home, we get everything home, we get the baler saw herd parked up and that's it for another year so anyways hope you enjoyed today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday that's it for me, good luck!